You know, I'm very proud of watching him run on the field. You know, after such a short turnaround and all the work that he's put in, uh, just the emotions were very mixed. You know, happy for him. You know, knowing we still got a long ways to go, and he's going to keep working and getting better as time goes on. Uh, it's just an indescribable feeling, man. Like everything, like everything tonight, just indescribable to be back out here on the field with my teammates and. Um, just, you know, hey, Michael, thinking you that my last play was on this field and just to be here, back here again, just an indescribable feeling. When a young man works so hard and uh, not even know if he'll ever play the game and to put in the time and effort, I think he deserves it. And, uh, you know, that's, uh, that's what we see as coaches and uh, his players and his teammates is what he goes through on a daily basis. But, no, absolutely, we wanted to to give him that ball to, to start the season. Come on, block! Oh. Yeah, I'm very proud of him, man. Uh, you know, uh, I hope his story uh, will uh, motivate a lot of uh, young athletes around Montana, especially around America and the world, of course. What do you think has been the toughest part for you specifically um, for this whole past year? Uh, watching him hurt. And uh, uh, did you have like any times where you kind of doubted that he might no. come back? No, never. And for you, what was the, your proudest moment? Um, you know, just to be back out here with my teammates in front of our home crowd with our little community and, um, you know, just after everything, just the big support group I've had just to show them that I've, you know, that I meant what I said when I said I was going to come back.